Hey there guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So in the last few lessons, we've taken a look at padding, margin, and the difference between the two. In this lesson now, we move on to the border property. Now it's important, and we'll come on to this in a future lesson, to understand that all our elements, whether it's a paragraph tag, a div tag, can be thought of as boxes. And this is something called the box model, which again, we'll look at in a future lesson. But essentially, we can put a border around our elements. So for example, if I put a paragraph tag on the screen here, uh, let's just say box. Go into our start CSS file, select paragraph, curly braces, and let's say border, one pixel, so one pixel border. The style of the border should be solid. And we'll look at this in more detail later on in this lesson. And we want the color of this border to be red. So now you can see we have a one pixel, solid line, red border around our paragraph element. Okay, so let's explore this border property in a bit more detail. So let's get rid of this. And on my HTML file here, I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna replace it with a div tag. Now, if you're a bit unsure about what the div tag is, there should be a link on this video somewhere or in the description box on my video about the div tag. So you can take a look at that. Okay, so we created our div tag. I'm not gonna put anything in it. Let's go to our style.css file, select the div. And let's give this a background color. So background color of light gray. That'll do. Let's apply some sizing to this as well. So let's say this should have a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels as well. Okay, now we can actually see it. Let's also move our square away from the side of the page here by applying some spacing outside of the element. And if you've been following along with the series, you should know that what we need to use is the margin property. So we'll say margin, 50 pixels, all around. Okay, that's fine. So when it comes to the border then, as you saw with our paragraph element, there are three properties that we can use. So we have border width, and we'll put this figure in in just a second. We have border color, and we have border style. Now, it's important to note that your border will not show unless you have a style. So we could give this a width of, let's just say, 10 pixels. We can give this a color of red. And as you can see, nothing has happened. That's because we need to give a style to our border. And this simply refers to what type of border we want. So we did solid earlier on, okay? But you could also do something like dotted. Okay, now you have a dotted border. Or one that I think is pretty cool is ridge. Okay, it gives a sort of indented effect. Now, of course, with something like this, there'd be no need to do it over multiple lines because we could declare it on just a single line. We can say border, 10 pixels, we'd say ridge, red. And if you're declaring it on a single line, this is the order it should be in. It should be width, then style, then color. Let's just move this here so you don't get confused. Okay. So as you can see, we can get rid of this. And we still have that same styling applied. But we can actually go into this in a lot more depth. So we can say, let's take that first property, border width. And we can actually specify a separate width for each of our sides. So we can say 10 pixels, 5 pixels, 2, and let's just say 1. Okay, and what this will do is it will give a 10 pixel border on the top, 5 on the right, 2 on the bottom, and 1 on the left. So similar to margin and padding when we specify four values. So let's just uncomment these out so we can see how that applies. As you can see now, we have a 10 pixel. Let's change this to solid, actually, be a bit easier to see for this example. Okay, so we have a 10 pixel border on the top, 5 on the right, 2 on the bottom, and 1 on the left. Now you can even specify color in this way. So here we can say border color. And for the top, we'll say, let's go for this yellow green color. Let's say orange for the right, red for the bottom, and larger blue for the left. So you can see then we have our different colors here applied to the relevant sides. And of course, as you probably guessed, we can do the exact same thing with our style. So here, let's say border hyphen style, and let's say solid on the top, ridge for the right, and we'll go dotted and then dashed. Okay, zoom in here. So as you can see then, we have solid, ridge, dotted, and dashed. So as you can see guys, you can get very, very specific with how you want your border to look. Now, another thing we can do with the border is we can actually give it a radius. So here, let's just comment all this up. And uh, let's declare on a single line, something nice and simple, let's say four pixels, solid, red. And now we can say border hyphen radius of, let's say 10 pixels. 
And as you can see, what this has done is it's given a 10 pixel curve all the way around on our square. Just a tip, if you wanted a perfect circle and your width and height were exactly the same, so here we have a width of 100 pixels and a height of 100 pixels, then what you could do is you could do border radius 50% and this will give you a perfect circle, like so. But again, you can get even more specifics. Let's put set this back to 10 pixels. And instead, we could say, in fact, let's comment this out. And here, let's say border hyphen top hyphen left radius, let's say 10 pixels. Okay, and this is only applied the radius of 10 pixels to the top left of our square. And we can say, let's just copy this. We can do the same thing, but for the right, so for the top right, let's say we want this to be 30 pixels. So you see, this is a greater curve here. And yep, you guessed it. We can also specify the bottom radius as well. So let's say border, bottom, left radius, which would be uh, this one here, one pixel. I can hardly see that. Let's say three pixels. And finally, let's say border, bottom, right radius. Let's give ourselves some space here of 100 pixels. Wow, as you can see, this now has a 100 pixel radius. And again, guys, you can specify this on a single line. So let's just comment this up. And up here, let's say 10 pixels, 30 pixels, 100 for the bottom right, and the left is three pixels. So there you go, we've got the same effect by declaring this on a single line. And of course, we can do the same thing we did for the border radius for any of these styles as well. Here, we've just declared them as we have for the border radius here on a single line. But you could, for example, do border hyphen right color, and we can say blue. Okay, guys, so that is pretty much everything you need to know about the CSS border property. Go ahead and try this out. Please like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.